I love this bag so much. Hey, it's Marsha, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about what's inside of my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is like my favorite, 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 favorite. This is my favorite bag. This is like my everyday work bag slash school bag. When I was learning American Sign Language, I took this bag with me to my classes. I wish I had this bag when I was in university as well because this would have fit all of my books because it's super duper duper sturdy and the quality is just like out of this world. I love this bag. This is the bag that I travel with for my like overnight stays and whatnot. Um, so yeah, this is like my favorite bag to wear. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I love watching what's in my bag videos, so maybe you do too. Maybe you just are curious to see what I have in my bag, just to be nosy, I guess. <laughs> I thought I would like make sure that it's in the video at all times because I love watching what's in my bag videos and I love like being able to see the bag as they pull stuff out of the bag so I'm like maybe some of my subscribers would also like to see it hopefully you guys enjoy seeing what's inside of my Louis Vuitton Neverfull let's go ahead and jump to the video so so let's open her up she's a big girl <laughs> So this bag right here has one big compartment, which is just like a big endless hole. You know what I mean? It's never full. You get it? It's never full. And then there's one zipper compartment. So I think I'm going to start with the zipper compartment just because it's easy to tackle. So this is also going to give me a chance to like clean up my bag. So I'm happy about today's video. What do we have? I have some hand lotion right here. This is fragrance free. This is the only hand lotion that I really use because I get eczema on my hands sometimes in the summertime. So this is the lotion. This is, what is this? I think this is, this right here is by Givenchy. This is their irresistible perfume. This is in one of those like travel kind of sizes. This was a freebie. I have some earplugs. <laughs> when I went to go get my MRI done, they stuffed these in my ears. And when I say these things are soundproof, I was I asked the doctor if I could have some more, and I like <laughs> she literally told me to put out my hand, and she dumped them all into my hand. So I just have a bunch of these. I need to really clean out this bag. That means I haven't cleaned out this bag since I did my MRI like last month or so, or like two months ago. That's pretty bad. Um, so these are my earplugs. Bob Law's receipt. These are grocery receipts. RBC. I'm just gonna throw all my receipts on the floor because I feel like there's gonna be a couple more, yeah. This is my MasterCard receipt after paying my bills. The transfer, what date is this from? Oh my God, this is from November 9th. This is really bad. Like, look at this. Transfer. We're just gonna throw that on the ground. Hand sanitizer, Purell. Love this. You gotta have hand sanitizer in your work bag, everyday bag, whatever bag you're carrying, have some hand sanitizer. And I don't really like the ones that smell all nice from like Bath and Body Works and that kind of stuff. I like hand sanitizer that kills all the germs, all the germs. So I have my Purell. Um, I have my, this is like a physio ball. I guess this could also be like a stress ball if you're stressed out, I guess, because it's it just relaxes your joints in your hands. So I have this in my bag as well. I have a dime. Let's see how much loose change I can find. All right. Um, so that's, oh no. And I just have some garbage. So that's all the items that I had in the zippy parts. Close that up. Um, <laughs> random, but I'm that girl. I have my first aid little kit in my bag. I always have this in every one of my bags, like my work bag, my gym bag, every bag. Um, and I actually purchased this off of AliExpress. I thought it was so cute. So I was like, let's see what it looks like when I actually get it delivered. And it actually is really good quality. I've, I've had this for like two years now, or three years. And it just is a first aid kit. I literally have everything I need for first aid kit. Just as a side note, Always have a pair of gloves, have a pen, 
um, have your Sharpie, um, like if you need to write something on a Band-Aid or whatever. And then I have my CPR card back here. So I have my first aid kit. I have my Altoids. Are these my Altoids? Because I also store my bobby pins in here. So let me just make sure. Yeah. These are my Altoids. I love these mints. Um, I have a brush because you never know when you need to like brush your baby hairs or just brush your hair in general. So I have a brush. You know, hygiene is very important to me because I have another pack of mints. <laughs> I don't like for my breath to be like smelling bad. I just, I don't like it. I work in social work, so I'm always talking to people. And like, even when I'm not working, like I just need my breath to be smelling good. And and I need for the people around me to have really good smelling breath too. So I always like to be able to offer a mint just in case you know how that goes. Then this is actually garbage. This is one of those like chargeable blocks for your phone and whatnot. This thing I've had for like two years and I don't know when it stopped dying, but I tried to use it the other day and I know I charged it for like the whole entire night um, and slash day. <laughs> and it just does not charge anymore so and when i purchased this this was on sale at best buy for like 15 dollars. so i guess they were trying to get rid of it mm -hmm. um then i have this little velvet case right here that i purchased i actually purchased this off of amazon and these are just stainless steel straws you know i try to save the turtles and whatnot um and this i love because this pack came with like a big one if you drink smoothies and stuff like this um, then you'll love this because it's a really big straw and then it has like mini ones and it also came with um, So yeah So these all came in a set maybe I can show you guys I feel like it's a pretty good set too. You have your large one your smaller ones and then the cleaning brush This was like $12 or something. So so worth it. And yeah, check out the link below What else do I have in here? Um, so this is not where it should be, but um, this is my Neutrogena individual face wipes. I love these things. I always keep this in my bag because sometimes you go to work and you just want to take all the makeup off your face or if you're out and about and you just need to do a little touch up or if your eyeliner runs, whatever the case is, always have a wipe on you. I have a pack of Kleenex. Always. I always have Kleenex in my bags. <laughs> so I have another pack of mints. This is like my third pack of mints, so I don't know what that's about, but. I have a random, what is this called? Like elastic band, garbage. I have this little bag right here. I purchased all of my little bags off of AliExpress. And honestly, I purchased this, like all of my things from AliExpress, I literally purchased, I purchased like four plus years ago and they're all still working really well. Um, I would say I'm gonna leave the link down below, but I don't even know. Just type in like mesh makeup bag and hopefully it pops up for you. But these are really good. And they came with like three of them and they were like $4 for like three. Um, but inside I have, okay, this is not where it's supposed to be either. So we're just gonna toss that to the side uh, for now. But inside I have my floss. So I keep my floss. I keep my poopery, this is like in the citrus, yeah. This is my poopery spray in the citrus scent. Um, I love this stuff. This is for when you do a boo-boo. You know, if you do a boo-boo, then spray this and you'll be fine. And then I have this little case here that I got from Muji. I got this from Muji. Um, and this is where I keep all of my Q-tips. So I keep all of my Q-tips inside of this hard case and it just stores them on nicely. And this is what the mesh little bag looks like. This right here is for your eyebrows. Random stuff is all in this one little bag. I need to get my bag organized. And then I just have some toothpicks in this little plastic thing right here. All right, so then I have, what is this? Oh, and then I have my period bag. If you haven't watched my period bag video, um, check out the description box down below. I'll leave a link to that video um, in there. Um, so I actually posted my what's in my period bag on my Hey It's Marsha Girl Talk channel. So I do have another channel for those who don't know. It's called Hey It's Marsha Girl Talk. 
and that's where I posted what's in my period bag. Um, so this right here is my period bag. So I'm not gonna jump into what's inside of this, but I'll just open it so you guys can see. This is my period bag. And this is the wristlet here. So this is kind of like a two-in-one if you are deciding on purchasing the Neverfull. Just know that it comes with a wristlet. This actually attaches to the inside of the bag. So here's the wristlet and then here's the bag. And then it has this D-ring right here. Take that and hook it on. And then I also have a hair tie. Always have a hair tie in your bag. I always have one. I literally keep a hair tie in all of my bags just because you never know when you just wanna like tie up your hair, you want your hair up. You just need some space and you need to be free. So <laughs> have a hair tie, you never know. So yeah, I always have one of these in my bag. All right, and then I also have a kombucha. <laughs> so I purchased this kombucha from like this like if you've ever been in Toronto, then you know of Kensington Market, and this is where I purchased this from. There's like a health food store there. Um, this is my second time trying it. The first time I tried it, I was like, I need this in my life. This makes you feel so like, it just feels healthy. Your body's gonna feel so good and like nourished and not all like bloated and you're not gonna be all burpy and stuff. Um, so yeah, I love this. This is the orange and turmeric. I love this. I'm actually gonna open this. I always keep snacks and drinks in my bag. Usually I have my water bottle, but I think I left my water bottle on my desk at work, so I don't have that in my bag. But usually I'll have that in my bag as well. Um, so kombuchas are actually the only other drinks that I buy. Like I don't drink pop and stuff like that. Um, I'm more of like a water matcha or kombucha type of girl. <laughs> um, so yeah. I'm just gonna open, oh my God. Oh no. Okay. Always shake these up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Okay, let me stop. Okay, so shake it up first. Um, I'm just gonna let this fizzle, fizzle down a bit because I don't want no accidents. And kombuchas are organic. Well, this one is organic. Let me not speak for all kombuchas. I only know about this one, so. And this is only 30 calories. Let me open this. I'm thirsty. <laughs> I feel like I've been talking. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't get this off. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I can't get this on my floor right now. Don't judge me. I'm like drooling. I love this so much. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> My bad. And then this is my makeup bag. And this is another makeup bag purchased off of AliExpress. So I actually purchased this a long time ago. If I find the link, I'll leave it down in the description box below. And it says, this contains my face, <laughs> which I thought was super cute. And this was like $2 or something. It was like $2.50. So I keep my body spray in there, which is not necessarily like a makeup item, but I just keep it in this pouch. This smells so, so, so good. I always mispronounce the name. I think it's, it's S-O-L and it's Brazilian Crush. This smells like a vacation. I love this. And then I literally just keep my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, my Kat Von D Bone Arrow Liquid Lipstick, my Ruby Kisses um, lip liner and espresso. 
And then this is my Laura Mercier concealer in um, 6N. This matches my complexion dead on. Um, so yeah, I keep this. I always keep my little um, retractable makeup brush from e.l.f. in my um, makeup pouch that I take to work as well. And I keep my Neutrogena wipe in there as well. I also have my MacBook Pro. That's how you know this Neverfull bag is sturdy because this is not a light, like it's fairly light, but it's not super light, like it's a laptop, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'll bring this, and this is just the MacBook Pro, and I think this is 13 or 15 inches. I feel like it's 13 inches maybe. I'm not really sure to be honest, but it's kind of like the standard size. All right, so then I have, oh, and then I have my AirPods. Um, I love these things. My friend convinced me to get this, and after testing them out in the store and hearing feedback, I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna get them. I think I need them. Or just for the convenience of not having the friggin' string, you know, like the regular headphones that come with the string. So yeah, I got them, and I love them. And I got this pink case. It's like a pastel pink case. I got this off of Amazon. If I can find the link, I'll link it down below. It's like two separate parts. Um, if this... <laughs> if this comes off. Um, so yeah, so this is the top part and then the bottom part. And these are so easy to clean. I've gotten foundation on these before and just wiped it off and it just comes right off. So I love these. This is the case and then it has a little flap so you can charge it. Um, and yeah. This is from Sustainable Zeltzer Goods. So this is supposed to last like seven years. Like the ink is supposed to last seven years. And I've had this for like three years, I think. And it's still going strong. It says feminist on here because I am a feminist. That just means like I'm all about equality for men and women, women's rights, women's pay, all that good stuff. And that kind of goes with my planner. So this is my planner. And I love this because it's a monthly view. I'm all about a monthly view. So I keep like my work stuff, my YouTube stuff, like I have like a second planner for just YouTube and it's huge and I bought it off of Amazon for like $10 and I love it, but that's, that's off. We're going off topic again. I apologize. All right. And then, then we have my umbrella. So I keep an umbrella in every single bag that I have because I hate being on the road and then it starts to rain and it's like, I have to go buy an umbrella. So yeah, I have an umbrella in every bag, and I love, this brand is called Fulton, like F-U-L-T-O-N, $14, and it's good quality. Like, I've had this in a, like, blizzard. I love it because it has, like, the wood, I think it's wood, on the handles, and then has this, and it's really, like, watch this. Like, this can double up as, like, a self-defense weapon. <laughs> Always have an umbrella, because my hair is naturally curly, like jerry curls, like my hair is curly. Um, so if I do flat iron it like this or like do loose curls and it rains, my hair is just gonna curl up, which I don't mind my curls, but if I'm not trying to have a curly day look, like I'm not trying to get stuck in the rain. And just so you guys know, I usually have snacks in my bag, but I'm all out, so there's that. And then I have my phone. This is just the 11 Pro Max. This is Sometimes in my bag, sometimes in my pocket, like of my jacket when I'm going to work. Um, but yeah, this is my phone. I have the 11 Pro Max in gold. This is what's in my bag today. And these are usually the items that are in my bag. So that's pretty much it for what's in my bag. So this is what the inside of my bag looks like. I don't use bag organizers. I'm not about to buy another accessory for this bag. I don't mind everything being like this and I like that totes are like more of the slouchy type of look opposed to a structured look so I just keep it like this. But yeah, here's my bag. So I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys but this is the Neverfull in the GM size in the monogram canvas print. I like to be able to be like this and then like the MM one, like it was just too tight for me. I wasn't able to do that. So this bag has these two straps. They look fairly thin, but they don't dig into your skin and they're really sturdy. Um, and I haven't hot stamped my bags. I'm not really into the whole hot stamp thing. Um, so mine's not hot stamped. And then on the side of the bag, it has these two jawstrings um, on both sides. 
So I'm gonna show you what the bag will look like. So here's the wristlet and then here's the bag. And then it has this D-ring right here. Take that and hook it on. And that's pretty much the inside of my bag. So my bag is now empty. Definitely high key, highly recommend the Louis Vuitton Neverfull if you're able to, even if you're able to buy it secondhand. And I say that because it's like, there's a high, high, high likelihood that the bag is in really good condition and that it's going to last you throughout your whole entire life. And yeah, like this is about to be my diaper bag as well. Like if I, if and when I decide to have kids, this will be my diaper bag as well. Like I am getting full use out of my never full bag. Full use. I hope you guys enjoyed watching what's in my Louis Vuitton never full bag. Um, and be sure to stay tuned because I have more videos coming. Also, make sure that your bell notification is turned on so that you stay up to date on all of my videos. So all you have to do is hit that little bell and then you should be notified as soon as I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching what's inside of my Neverfull bag. See you guys in my next video.